come from many parts of India and the mountain area. I also met few people who have come from outside India. I met few people from Hong Kong. Hong Kong Also a couple from Australia. And by your coming, we are richly blessed and our joy is full. And it's once again, we welcome every one of you, young and old. We welcome you to this All India Holy God Education in Baraka Gantok. We are having this after three years and we welcome you in the name of Jesus. It is my humble prayer that you make use of this precious time to be at the feet of the Lord, to listen to His word, to listen to His voice, to enjoy the Lord. God has brought you away from the busy life so that we can come together and enjoy fellowship with one another. This past three days, we have been uh, dwelling on this very important theme taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 19. And we are going to read this verse once again, all together. Every one of you who have a Bible and who can read, you must open your Bible. So we are going to read Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19. That is our team verse for this convocation. And to know the love Because I am very close to the ladies, I can hear only ladies' voice. I hope men are awake. So once again, we are going to read this together. together. I need help, you need help as we share the word of God together. Handling the word of God is very difficult. When we stand here, all our legs and all our hands shake. So that is why we need God's help. So when we pray, you also must pray. What are you going to pray? Lord, my heart, my heart has become so hard hearing and hearing and hearing Listening and listening, nothing is happening to me. So 
Soften my heart so that I can hear your word and I can obey your word. So that is what you have to pray. Shall we pray now? Everybody bow your heart. Close your eyes. And let us be let us be with much reverence, with much fear. Let us come into the presence of the Lord. Our loving Heavenly Father. And the praying Surya Pita. God of grace, mercy and peace. We thank you for gathering us together from far and near for the fourth day of the convocation in Baraka. And the Baraka Nivra Tarunzo Taru Najib Bada Bereka Majun Bolita Maswa very excess to Lagam and it's also the Bani Velagan Vekalagi. Thank thee for bringing thy very precious people from many parts of India. And overseas. Thank you for every opportunity you gather us together to learn more of Christ. And the Lord bless you all. 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 And the Lord bless you and the power of the Holy Spirit of God to rest upon us. Without you, we can't do anything. So Lord, we pray this morning that Thou will be with us in a very special way Open thy word, living word, to our hearts. Thank you for the words that Jesus said in John 6.63. The words that I speak to you, they are life and they are true. Soften our hearts this morning to receive thy word joyfully and readily. We want to hear thy loving voice from thy loving heart. Thy son may be exalted and glorified. Satan may be defeated and the powers of darkness will be put to shame. The whole compound we bring it and ourselves we bring it under the covering of your precious blood. Hear and answer our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You have been hearing from different God servants about Ephesians chapter 3 verse 19. And it is God's greatest desire that every believer may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now I am concentrating about Ephesians 3.19. I am concentrating for this holy convocation from verse 17. And yesterday evening I shared with you on Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 how we can be filled with all the fullness of God. 
I go and look in his wardrobe. What are the trousers he is wearing? What are the shirts that he is wearing? Is he wearing fashion design? Then I go to his wife's wardrobe. What is she wearing? Which sari? What kind of blouse? If I do all that, Raja will feel uncomfortable. And yet, the most important thing is that 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 And yet, my dear, I say basically, then the problem is solved. Only, ah, at least I will be able to solve the police sample of the success. And ask me to get down. And then, if my, ah, the results of the success. I am only a guest. And more than that, I am only a guest. But do you know, when you are a host, when you make somebody a host in your house. And yet, ah, at that point, it is just like say, ah, after the government has said, just the Sarkar, the Power Minister, the Government has said, what will happen? We feel very comfortable. And we handle it like an Arab master. And I tell Raja, Raja, you have made me like your own brother. I am very comfortable. And we want to Raja to make the man like that. No, I am the boy just so, I am the boy just so. But we want to make the man like that. Arab master. In many of our lives, believers' lives, today the Lord Jesus Christ is dwelling in me only as a guest. अरे तबाय तो मेरा हमें धीरे ही जाना तो धीरे ही ना से आ प्रभु सुमसी से ये उनका अस्तित्व को रुक ना मात्र वास विरुद्ध नहीं कर सकते। Only that place we are given। अरे जो तरह मत रहे हमें वहाँ लगी रहेगा। We don't want Jesus Christ as the host। अरे प्रभु सुमसी लाइसे ते भर के इधर मारे कुछ तो प्रकार के चाहिए चाहे देनो। That is what Paul the apostle is writing here। अरे जो कार्य में करता प्रेस पावर लेस The position, the preeminent position, given the position of a host. And the reason we are not saying that the power of the Christ is, ah, to be able to hear him, ah, say, to be able to serve the Lord, to stand near the Lord, to be able to marry the Lord, to be stand near the Lord, to be able to hear the Lord. How can that be done? And how can it be done? Now, read verse seventeen again. Our sixth chapter, very very important. Look into your Bible. Open up the Bible, my dear. That Christ may dwell in your heart by. Hey, and what is the second word? What Paul is using here? And that he being rooted and grounded in love. You know these two words are very important in our Christian life. And our Christian life, these two words are very important in our Christian life. And our Christian life, The Lord Jesus Christ, when He was upon the earth, He reminded the disciples these two words. And Prabhu Shumasi Jabba, the Son of Man, who knew that when He came, He was not like this. He knew that the Son of Man was not like this. Luke 18:8. And Luke 18:8. Jesus said these, Jesus said these words. And Prabhu Shumasi said these words. When the Son of Man comes, will there be faith upon this earth? So when man is the Putra, on the other hand, there will be faith in the Vishwas upon this earth. Do you understand how important is faith in our Christian life? के कारण इधर देखिए तब मैंने बुझ रहा हूँ जहाँ हमारे क्रिश्चियन जीवन में आज विश्वास से कति महत्वपूर्ण न करा हो बनी किना। Our Christian life is a walk by faith and not by sight। अन्य हमारे क्रिश्चियन जीवन से विश्वास करे लाइफ को जीवन हो अन्य उनके देखने के लिए नहीं जीवन से करेगा। Our Christian life is completely lived by faith। अन्य हमारे क्रिश्चियन जीवन से पूर्ण प्रकारे विस About love. And this was such a power. Let me pray to be saved. Jesus said in Matthew twenty-four twelve. Prabhu Jesus said in Matthew twenty-four twelve. Prabhu Jesus said in Matthew twenty-four twelve. Evil will be abounding, and love shall wax cold among many. Ani twenty-four twelve. 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 मध्य चौंधी से देखो बारह प्रतिमा अन्य अगर मैं बड़े कहूँ ना ले धीरे ही तो प्रेम ही चलाओ नहीं साथ। Do you see that today everywhere evil is increasing, abounding. And क्या तब ये योग करा देखिए लोगों के साथ आज चारी तीरा अगर मत ये बड़ी रहे तो साथ। And what is happening? Evil is abounding and 
इसको काम हो सकते रहे सुन नहीं सकते ना उसका हाथ तो सर तेरे हाथ लेके काम ही करता है तब भर ईश्वर 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 धोखा दी रहने तब था साहब राय ने पृष्ठभूमि को कल्पना मूर्ति बनाने परिवार हम ठुलो आवाज से पढ़ने वाले हैं। And he said, "You will never hear my voice. I am the Lord of the universe. I am the God of the universe. I am the Lord 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 of the universe. अन्य आप योग को रहा एकदम ध्यान सीधा तब अगले अपना अपने बाइबल में लेखन की दुर्लभ। When the God of glory appear जब महिमा का परमेश्वर अब्राहम कहा प्रकट होने वाले हो। I'm going to repeat it again। मैं फिर भी दोहराऊं इस। When the God of glory appeared to Abraham, what a change came in his life। जब महिमा का परमेश्वर अब्राहम कहा प्रकट होने वाला कितनी चुलो परिवर्तन अब्राहम के जीवन में आए। And that is why Abraham is called the champion of faith. The father of faith. And can you imagine that nobody in the Bible had a faith like Abraham? And you get a very good one. I don't know what to say. Abraham just so trust the Bible now. My dear brothers and sisters, what is faith? And if you are my dear friends, you will know. Trust is what is it? Faith is believing and obeying. God's word. अन्य विश्वास से परमेश्वर को बचन नहीं विश्वास करनो, अन्य तो बचन को आज्ञा पालन करनो हो। And I want to tell you again and again that Abraham's faith may come into your life and in my life. अन्य मैं घरी कर यो पर बताऊँ मुझे आम से अब्राहम को विश्वास से तपाईं र अन्य मेरे जीवन मा आउनु सक्छ। Now I'm going to share with you how Abraham, whenever He met God. Whenever he confronted God, he had a new experience of faith. And you could have more, but I'm not sure. Java, Java, say Abraham le Parameshwar sita bhej karte, vishwas ko yora naya anubhuti usle karte. Now in the Bible you have Isaac. And in our Bible, man, say Isaac, sir. Isaac, when he confronted God. When he had a new experience, what did Isaac do? In the Bible, Isaac dug wells. And जब उसे इसाक के से परमेश्वर सीधा आमने सामने भेज करते हैं, उसे क्या करते हैं? उसे कुआं हरु खानते हो ना बाइबल में बनी। Jacob, when he confronted God, when he had a new experience of who God is, what did Jacob do? And he arrested pillars. And जब याकूब को से परमेश्वर सीधा भेज करते हो इवरा नया अनुभव उनके जुन्दे परमेश्वर सीधा उसे क्या करते हो? वन्ना से बोले जी खाम बोल रहा है। You know what Abraham did? तब वह था साहब रहने के घर से। When he had a new experience of who is God is, you know what Abraham did? जब Abraham built altar। जब परमेश्वर को उन्होंने सब ने पूरा को नया अनुभव अब्राहम ने करते तब अब्राहम ने क्या करते बंदा से अब्राहम ने जी भेदी है बना। So I'm going to do a Bible study on the altars. क्यों काम नहीं करता आप हमें उनका बाइबल अध्ययन कर सो अब राहम ने बनाए का बीत यह माधी How can we apply that to our spiritual life? अन्य युग पर आज तो सिर्फ तबायर में नहीं से हम राष्ट्रीय जीवन में हमें लागू करो मुसलमान I want to tell you based on the word of God that Abraham's life 
was filled with all the fullness of God because of his faith life. अनि म बाइबलमा आधारभूत भएर यो भन्न सक्छु परमेश्वर को सबै परिपूर्णताले चाहिँ अब्राहम भरिएको थियो किन भन्दा चाहिँ उसको विश्वासको जीवनको कारणले गर्दा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टु डू अ बाइबल रीडिंग अ वेरी फेमिलियर पोर्शन जेनेसिस च्याप्टर 12 अनि उत्पत्ति 12 अध्यायमा हामीले जानिरहेको यहाँ बाट हामी एक पठन हामी वी आर गोइंग टु रीड फ्रॉम वर्सेस 1 टु 7 अल्टरनेटिवली अनि एक देखि सात पक्षमा हामी महान जो मैं आशीषित अनि अब्राहम ने अपनी पत्नी सारे लाई आपने भतीजा दूत लाई उन्हें अपने जम्मा पाए का सभी संपत्ति रहरान में प्राप्त करे का मानी सभी लाई लिए अनि कनान देश में जाने के लिए उन्हें अपने मिस्के अनि उन्हें अपने कनान देश में आए होंगे अनि पर प्रभु अब्राहम का देखा पत्र लियो And I want you to go to another place where I am going to show you. And you, our brothers and sisters, our land, the new place for the miskey to make sanju. And the new land, the new place for the miskey to make sanju. The new land, the new place for the miskey to make sanju. What was Abraham's age at that time? Abraham, who was seventy-five years old. According to God's word, he was seventy-five years old. And 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 he was seventy-five years old. The Bible says. The Bible says that Abraham did not trust in God where he he wanted him to go. And the Bible says Abraham is a permissive like person. That is, not a man who is permissive like that. He believed in God and he obeyed God. And he permissive like that. He trusted God and he acted according to God. And what did Abraham do? And he did not Abraham like that. We read just now. And he took his nephew Lot and Sarah his wife. All the servants, all the animals, big companies, they started walking. And he made a fast walk for the Abraham. He asked his wife, "Sare lai, but is there dud lai?" And his mother said, "Ko sabey sampati, beera baka, ko sabey lai, ko chulo, aar ko chunda banana ki nohi ruka." And he went to the place where God wanted him to go. And he too, the gama ho gaya. Jaane se parmeshwar ne usne gaye ko chhano. Unquestioning obedience. In the life of the Abraham. And Abraham ke jivan ma prasnei nagar ne prakar ko aake gaye. Hebrews chapter eleven and verse eight says, "By faith Abraham obeyed and 
and went not knowing where he was going. Hebrew can I tell you something? That, that is called living faith. Living faith is taking a risk not knowing what is going to happen to you. And we always ask God, what is God trying to do with my life? And we go when God takes us through an uncomfortable situation, the question comes in our heart, what are you trying to do? Can I give you the answer? God takes you and me through uncomfortable situation to test our faith and to build our faith. Now see verse 2 and 3. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, 3 and 4. God gave Abraham a wonderful promise. And God said, I am going to bless you immensely. You know what Abraham did? He believed in the promise of God. And then you know what he did? Verse 7. Genesis chapter 12, verse 7. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land, and they builded an altar unto the Lord who had appeared to him. Now see, it is very clearly written. The Lord appeared unto Abraham. And it's repeated again. And they builded an altar unto the Lord who had appeared unto him. So the first altar that Abraham built we are calling it the altar of revelation and faith. Those who are writing notes, please write down. The first altar that Abraham built was the altar of revelation and faith. Why did he why did we call it the altar of revelation and faith? The God of glory appeared to Abraham. He had a new understanding of who his God is. Can I tell you something? When you have an understanding and revelation of who your God is, then comes faith. Revelation is the foundation of our Christian life. And my dear brothers and my dear sisters, can I tell you something? 
Many of us we do not know who our God is. अनि प्रिय भाइ बहिनीहरु के म एउटा कुरा तपाईलाई बताउन सक्छु हामी धेरै जना मध्ये हामीलाई थाहा छैन हाम्रो परमेश्वर को हुनुहुन्छ भनेर That is why today we are spiritual beggars. अनि त्यो कारणले गर्दा चाहिँ आज हामी आत्मिक भिखारीहरु भएका छौं। In uh, Sunday school there is a beautiful song and they sing it very nicely the children my god is an awesome god. And Sunday school ma euta dami euta bhajan cha jo naam le gaunchan mera parmeshwar chai ekdamai bhayankar parmeshwar huncha bhani kina. Then there is another song the children sing my god is so big. Ani arg git ma le gaunchan nani le mera parmeshwar yati thulo huncha. Only in songs we know. And the Gita ma matra hain zanda song. But in reality, we do not know who our God is. Tar vastavi kada ma chay hamro par musur ko hu nuda risa mani pura hain zanda hai na. That is why today we are people who have lost our faith. And tu karan nikal na hain tis talo gharu bani ka samaj do dusre se apne vishwas ro gumain par hai kaise? When our faith is gone. Then we are under fear. And जब आप लोग विश्वास से अच्छे लोग जान सर, आ इस वस्तु से हमें जो डाउट को अधीन मार। When we are under fear, then comes doubts and questions. And जब आप से हमें डर ना आऊँ सर, तो इन जो संकल्प और वाली प्रश्न हरो आऊँ सर। Can I tell you something? It should be your prayer and my prayer as we go from here. This should be our sincere prayer every morning. Oh Lord, give me a new understanding. a new revelation of who my god is ani matlab ara batauna chahanchu tab tab haru yaha bada bahira januncha nischay januncha tab tab haru ko din prati din ko prarthna chai yahi hos parmeshwar tapai ko hununcha yes vishay ko naya samaj ani naya prakash malai dinu hos lord i have so many needs in my life ani prabhu mere jivan ma ethi bishi avashyakta hos i am suffering ani ma dukha bhogi rahechu chu Give me a new understanding of who my God is. And my Lord, may I submit to you? May I put you through all the trials of this life? There is a beautiful verse in the Bible: the people who know their God shall do exploits. And the Bible ma, ah, it is wonderful. But sir, few of you just have not put me so that children, when you are there, ah, bring up your own garments. Lord, give me faith like Abraham. And Prabhu, the Bible ma, like trust in us, Abraham, just do. Faith like a child. Every time I am going to trust. That is living faith. And it is a living trust. And you see in the children, whatever you tell them, they believe you. And get up by the thoughts of man, get up by the life of the man, you put them. That kind of a faith God wants you and me. And he permits us to use the power of his trust to bear more with the power of his hand. When we have that kind of a faith, God will fill us. With all the fullness of God. And so, when you see the power of the Holy Spirit, that power of the Holy Spirit is very powerful. Time is running very quickly. I will tell you how Abraham started by faith, lived by faith, ended by faith. And so, I say, the power of the Holy Spirit is very powerful. Time is running very quickly. I will tell you how Abraham started by faith, lived by faith, ended by faith. And so, I say, the power of the Holy Spirit is very powerful. Time is running very quickly. I will tell you how Abraham started by faith, lived by faith, ended by faith. Every time Abraham's faith was put to test. And you had it some time when Abraham was trusted to judge my God. Very quickly, I'll give you two or three examples. And you can see this with your own eyes. Now Abraham was 100 years old. How many years? 100 years old. And you have Abraham was 100 years old. And you have Abraham was 100 years old. And you have Abraham was 100 years old. His wife was 90 years old. And his wife was 90 years old. One day God came to him. And he 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 came to him. And Hundred years old, my wife is ninety years old. It is impossible. And ki prabhu tamai le mala bani na lohe kisa mojo sahu varsa kuki sagi kisu ani mere swasti nappe varsa kuki sagi kiche yada ekda masamau kura. Our body is dead. Ani hamro sarir to mali sagi kisa. How can we have child? Ani hamro kasari chhe santamu na saksa. Genesis chapter seventeen. Butpati sutra dhyaye. And verse seventeen. Sutra dhyaye ko sutra ko. Turn your Bibles, those who have Bible, and we'll read this verse together. And in the 
Busy, 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 busy. 